What does South Node in astrology mean? Have you ever felt an inexplicable pull towards certain behaviors or situations, as if guided by an unseen hand? In the realm of astrology, this cosmic influence might just be your South Node at work. Let's embark on a journey to uncover the mysteries of this fascinating astrological point and its profound impact on our lives. What exactly is the South Node? The South Node, also known as Ketu in Vedic astrology, is not a physical celestial body but rather a mathematical point in space. It's one half of the nodal axis, with its counterpart being the North Node or Rahu. Imagine a cosmic seesaw. On one end sits the South Node representing our past, while the North Node on the opposite end points towards our future. This celestial balancing act plays a crucial role in our astrological makeup, influencing our journey through life in ways both subtle and profound. The Karmic Connection Here's where things get really interesting. In astrological circles, the South Node is often associated with our past lives and karmic baggage. It's like a cosmic suitcase we've brought with us into this incarnation, packed full of talents, traits, and tendencies we've developed over countless lifetimes. Think of it as your soul's comfort zone. It represents familiar patterns and behaviors, often linked to innate skills and abilities. But here's the kicker. While these qualities can be strengths, they can also hold us back if we rely on them too heavily. It's like always reaching for that trusty old sweater instead of trying on something new and potentially more suitable. The sign in which your south node falls offers valuable insights into your karmic past. For example, south node in Aries. You might have been a trailblazer or warrior in past lives, comfortable with taking charge and initiating action. South node in Taurus. Past lives likely revolved around material comfort and sensual pleasures, leaving you with a strong connection to the physical world. South Node in Gemini. Your soul has a history of being a communicator or learner, accumulating knowledge and sharing information. The house placement matters too. Just as important as the sign is the house in which your South Node resides. This placement sheds light on the areas of life where you might fall back on old patterns. South Node in the first house. You may tend to rely too heavily on your personality or physical appearance to navigate life. South Node in the seventh house. Past life experiences might lead you to over-prioritize partnerships or seek validation through others. South Node in the tenth house. You could have a tendency to focus excessively on career and public image, potentially at the expense of personal fulfillment. While the South Node represents where we've been, the North Node shows us where we need to go. It's all about finding balance. Embrace your South Node qualities as strengths, but don't let them become crutches. Use your innate talents as a foundation to build upon, not a fortress to hide within. Look to your North Node for guidance on personal growth and evolution. The challenge and the reward. Working with your nodal axis isn't always easy. It often means stepping out of your comfort zone and facing the unknown. But here's the thing. By integrating the lessons of both nodes, you can achieve a sense of wholeness and purpose that's truly transformative. Practical Applications Living your nodal truth So, how can you apply this knowledge in your daily life? Here are a few suggestions. 1. Reflect on your natural tendencies and consider how they might relate to your south node sign and house placement. 2. Identify areas where you tend to fall into comfortable, but potentially limiting patterns. 3. Look for opportunities to stretch yourself in the direction of your North Node, even if it feels challenging at first. 4. Use your South Node talents as a springboard for growth rather than a safety net. Remember, working with your nodes is a lifelong journey. It's not about rejecting your past or forcing yourself into an uncomfortable future. Instead, it's about finding harmony between where you've been and where you're going. In the end, understanding your South Node can be a powerful tool for self-discovery and personal growth. It's like having a cosmic roadmap to your soul's journey. So why not take some time to explore your own nodal story? You might just uncover some fascinating insights about yourself and your path through this life.